So today I am going to try and make a lovely set of apps for you. I've also managed to uh, make this delicious loaf of bread. Uh, we're going to work through the recipe together. I'm going to put the ingredients. Hopefully they'll be on a little comment just down here. Uh, and we're going to basically find out what I've done. To be honest, I've been baking for a little bit. I've made some absolute hoolies of failures, but I've also made a few great successes. So hopefully this one will turn out a great success. I already know what they're gonna look like. You've already seen them, let's be honest. Um, but let's work it through together. So today we've got 500 grams of flour we need. Uh, I'm gonna use half plain and half just uh, white bread flour. Got seven grams of yeast, I'm using Fermi Pan Red for that one. Uh, a tablespoon of sugar, 50 grams of butter. I've actually used a little bit more because the 200 mils of milk. Uh, normally you should put whole milk, I've only got semi skimmed and we're going to pop uh, one egg which we're going to beat up later. First up, all the dry ingredients straight into the mixer. So into the pan go straight with butter. We've got our 200 mils of milk just going straight over the top. We're just going to warm that really gently just until the uh, butter melts. So here we have it, it's been sat there proving for just a little bit of time. Look how massive it's gone. That's absolutely awesome, really, really pleased with that. Right, so we're gonna knock it back now, uh, which is just really kind of just beginning to shape it. It's not quite ready to go into the oven. Uh, to be honest, I don't really, really understand the science of why we prove it once, do it again, and then uh, bake it later. But this time, I'm just gonna give it a quick punch to see how it's going. <laughs> hey, look at that, little bit of shrink back just there. Awesome, isn't it? Right, so tip them all out. I'm gonna get my little dough scraper again. It's a really different dough this to a normal bread dough. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm actually I want to what I want to do this one is kind of make a couple of buns, um, which is the classic burger bun. I'm gonna use about um, a third of it to make two buns. They're probably gonna be quite large actually looking at these, but hey ho. 
everyone needs a big fat chunky burger in their life don't they so that's again I'm just gonna cut that in half and I, if I was being really scientific I would absolutely be weighing this one but I'm not going to tonight so just little round little round little round and I'll put that straight on a little bit of lined paper just in the bottom of a baking tin actually it's a whole tin there um, really big fat sides um, I'll show you why in a minute so I'll give this one a nice little round bit as well so just all I'm doing is basically tucking it in tucking it in and over it's a little bit ugly underneath but I'm hoping in that second bit of proving it's gonna work so that's in the tin just like that um, all I'm gonna do with that one now is just get another baking sheet just literally pop that on top that's my, my, my loose cover now so this is going back in my warm place to one side now I could carry on doing that with all of the rest of the buns but I'm not going to this time I really want to sort of see how this bread works as more of a loaf I think it's a, a really nice tasty bread last time I tried it so all I'm going to do is just get a standard loaf tin nothing that exciting and just try and roll it in roll it in and then as you can see I've got this little seam underneath that's going right at the bottom underneath there like that and that's it I'm gonna go and pop my uh, buns and my loaf straight back in to prove for a little bit longer so I'm using this large roasting dish it's got nice high sides now if you're gonna make about 10 or 12 buns um, Genuinely get a really good um, high sided roasting dish put them all in there um, And you'll they will join up. They're not gonna be individual batches like the ones that I've made um, But they are just gonna build up and actually you'll be able to support them in there They'll probably get a bit more of a bouncy rise, which is kind of what some people want in their own um, buns So here we go, we've got the uh, two buns, they have risen amazingly well, I absolutely love that. Um, I did have a bit of a, an interesting incident with the loaf though, so I got this uh, wonderful little pink hairnet thing which I often cover my uh, my breads and bakes in just to sort of uh, protect them in when they're having a bit of a prove, but it got stuck to it and I've never had that before, so it kind of proved all the way out of here, making it absolutely huge in this loaf. So I genuinely don't have a clue what's going to happen. Um, the oven's nice and warm now, that's now at 180 degrees C, um, so we're going to pop that in. I'm also going to put in a little splash of water into the bottom of the oven, that should create a bit of a steam, um, which should get the top a little bit crispy we don't want it too crispy of course before I do that though I'm just going to brush the top of the buns with a little bit of milk which should give it a nice shine now as you can see uh, these buns have not come out the same size at all um, to be honest I don't really know why I, I, I think it's because as I said we didn't weigh them earlier we just kind of guessed a little bit uh, my pastry brush is also a little bit stiffer than I was expecting it to be, so uh, we're not quite getting that lovely even brush all over it, but there we go. It's just a little bit. Um, now, also, if I had some, I'd sprinkle a few um, sesame seeds just over the top, just to really give it that nice little burger bun feel. A um, little bit of extra taste, a little bit of extra crunch as well, but I haven't got any. So um, today we're just baking it like this. They look great. I'm going to give them just another couple of minutes. Uh, that loaf under there though, that is going to need... Whoa. Look at that beauty! I think I'm going to have to take that shelf out. Never be afraid to rearrange your oven halfway through a break. Right, let's just do two more minutes for that. I'm going to give a few more minutes for the big loaf. So there we've got it, we've got a couple of lovely little baps, they took about 10-12 minutes to cook. Um, the loaf took a bit longer, obviously it's much much bigger, uh, the hard and fast rule of baking really is it's done when it's done, you can't teach the oven to do what it's going to do. Um, but this one, I mean it's 
when it's got a nice good hollow sound underneath. I genuinely have no idea how it's going to turn out, so I'm, I'm really, really excited. But hopefully it'll make a delicious sandwich for me. Here we have it then. This is uh, my loaf of bread that I've made. Uh, let's give it a try. Um, I really have no idea how it's going to look. Hey, look at that! Beautiful. I am really excited. Let's give it a try. So there we have it. We've gone through. I made a cup of soft top burger rolls and I've made this delicious white loaf. I hope you have great fun, nearly as much fun as I did making it.